what is going on YouTube it's been a while I'm back so you know what have I been doing I'm doing a lot of bunch of nothing if you ask me but no seriously uh, you know I've been traveling for my work and uh, I took some time off for myself because you know YouTube is a hobby for me and I told you that guys that many 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 times I don't need YouTube money I have a normal career so but you know I got a little bored and I want to start making some more videos because, as you can see right here, my M3 is in pieces. If you've been following my Instagram, you know that the car is being taken apart. Here, let's take a look at it here. Hold on a second. I'm trying to flip the camera, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Let's, let's take a look at, look at the car here. So, obviously, you know that this is the E36 M3. It looks radically different from the videos that you see now because I've been sanding away. You're probably wondering, why do I need to sand it if I'm just going to wrap it or something like that? It's because this clear coat is so thick right here that you're going to be able to see this, the contour, through the wrap. Uh, and I talked to the wrap guys, and uh, that's exactly what they said too. So I'm going to sand that down and make it nice and smooth, you know, kind of like this right here. So that's really, really smooth now. I have uh, some things that I have going on here. I'm not going to tell you the color of the wrap. It's a surprise, okay? Uh, a few people, you know, they know the color, but my wife knows the color. She's not going to tell you. I think maybe one or two other people know the color. Obviously, the, the wrap guy knows the color also. Um, and I have a lot of things going on, so I have to prep the car for him. So uh, he's giving me a really, really good deal. Uh, just, just so you know, guys, if you are wrapping or deciding to wrap your car... Do a lot of this prep work yourself. Take off your trim. I'm taking off the mirrors. I'm taking off the side skirts right here. I'm going to be taking off the wing, tail lights, uh, headlights and stuff. You can see these lights. Trim is already gone. Headlights are gone. He wants me to take this off so he can wrap up under here and get under here on the bumper. I'm going to do that uh, for him. I have uh, new fenders coming in. Because you can see that this is buckled right here. And my friend's girlfriend ran into it. It's trash. And you can see this is the one I replaced before. It's actually red. So, and you see I had to, wasn't the right one. So I had to cut this to fit the side marker. So I'm going to get rid of this. I have new ones coming without the holes. So I'm going to have to cut the holes, which is not a big deal. Uh, this fender over here, you can see I didn't fender roll it. So you can see it's buckled. Like literally I lowered the car, I went out of the driveway, and it buckled five minutes. <laughs> so I gotta replace these, not a big deal. I have those coming already. Uh, let's see, take a look at the interior here. All right, the infamous Vader seats here. You can see they have some wear. Look at the, the driver's side, it just looks like shit. I bought brand new ones. They are coming. I have to bring them to an upholstery shop to get those done. So <clears throat> it's costing me a lot of money. I'm going to put the stock tail lights back in. You can see that right here because, you know, back when I did the customization, you know, the LEDs were in. These LEDs are going out. I have to remove the wing, uh, remove the badges, remove this piece. Uh, he wants me to keep the bumper covers on. And everything else, but you know, total he said a thousand dollars to wrap it, which is, in my opinion, uh, uh, you know, pretty damn good price. So uh, I'm buying to wrap myself. So and then you know, for a couple hundred bucks, you're just gonna lay it on. I'm getting a uh, a new radio, this Alpine system. Why it looks cool and everything else. Uh, it is. It's a weird setup. This is back in a day where, you know, we were still running disc in an iPod. So. This is a brain that connects to this, an iPod, XM radio, and a few other things. Well, this thing hasn't worked from day one. It only works with this, and I can't switch it to anything else. And I've even sent the unit back to, uh, to Alpine, and it came back with the same problem. So I just gave up on it, said screw it. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, probably some interior pieces. Uh, not quite sure. I have the steering wheel, a three-spoke steering wheel. It needs to be re-wrapped. So I have the wrap. That's going to come. So I have a lot of things going on. I have uh, new brakes. You see these brakes are just rusted. They're old. I have new brakes coming. Um, what else do I have? Oh, 
I have uh, new headlights also because these that I bought, uh, you know, they're this is just uh, what you would call. It. Don't worry about that. Uh, these are the you know uh, the depot uh, ZKWs. You know the nice European with the glass housings. You can see there's a big huge rock chip in there. I can replace the lens, but the problem I had is that these had a hard time with these. Something a clip broke right here that holds this, so these don't stay in. All right, I did that when I was replacing this because I didn't use a a, uh, a, blah, um, a heat gun. So I just kind of pulled them out and I broke a bunch of shit like an idiot because I was too lazy to go buy a heat gun. And this one, you can see I broke the upper clip here that holds this on. Therefore, I had this stupid fucking thing right here. I mean, this is just called pure laziness and, uh, you know... And these were well before the angel eyes. So what I what I had to do is buy the angel eyes separate, take the housing off, and put the angel eyes in there. So you end up with all this crazy wires and all this crap. So I bought brand new uh, ZKW Depot uh, headlights with the new thin angel eyes. They're coming uh, in also. I'm keeping the corners because I like the corners, and it's really actually kind of hard to find these uh, because I don't like... I don't care what the, what anybody says. I don't like the clears that come with it, and I definitely don't like the amber. Okay, because you can't see through it. And it looks it looks it doesn't look correct in conjunction to this. I like the clear housing, so I can see the bulb. Just like the clear housing, I can see these bulbs too. So that's the only thing I'm really keeping. That's I guess you could say rice shit. <laughs> but anyways, overall. Uh, the, uh, I need to rewire, uh, the fog lights. Uh, they haven't worked for a while because of, I'm suspecting they work, but they don't work with the switch because what, what I've done here is you see this, you see this red button right here and you see this rocker switch. Where is that rocker switch? There's a rocker switch around here. Yeah, right, right here, right here. Is the rocker switch so what this is it's for my alpine unit it's the defeat so i can watch movies while you drive so what this is this is my brake so this simulates me hitting the brake pedal and then this rocker simulates me doing the handbrake up and down twice so when i'm going down the road i don't have to hit the handbrake or i don't have to stop the car hit the handbrake and turn it on because then once you put it back to drive it cuts off so the defeat is before they made a defeat unit i wired in everything i found the schematics and wired this shit myself so um i have to rip out all this stuff whole center console is coming out this i'm not not a, not a fan of you see it just jiggles around like this uh, because inside there something's going on. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. You know, just garbage, man. Garbage. So I have to put in the seat because if you look right here, the seat is jacked up. It's stuck all the way up. My friend broke it. This is what's broke on it. So I have the new one. But the reason why the car is sitting here is because I have a major gas leak. The gas lines have dry rotted away. Freaking bugs man I swear they're gonna be a death of me one day the the gas line the gas line from the gas tank to the top is right around here area somewhere because when you look under here you'll see it leaking so in fact you can kind of see a little bit where it has leaked so i have to get up under the car that's what i plan on doing right now actually so i'm not gonna be able to be doing a video probably of it because i just want to concentrate on getting shit done i hate really getting up under the car it's freaking hot outside right now. So the rims, not a fan of the rims. Uh, still trying to figure out what I want to do with them. I really like the factory wheels, not these. These are still my snow tires because literally I've been traveling. And then I decided to go to Cancun and went on vacation for half a month because I can. So I just got back a couple days ago and, you know, me, I was talking with my brother-in-law and me and him, he was just telling me, he's like, you know, you got, you got two two nice bmws you're just letting sit there and do nothing and you know it just hasn't really been a priority of mine so but uh i'm gonna make it a priority and i'm gonna bring home some trophies this year i like to even hit up bimmerfest if i can 
So uh, hopefully we can get it done in time. Uh, the wrap is going to be the number one thing. I got to buy new badges back here on this badge. You see the guy put it on. There's supposed to be a space in between here and there's not. And of course this is fading also. So, oh, look at that. Look, it just comes right on off. <laughs> there we go. Look. All right, gone. So, problem solved there. Actually, I think I have a new M badge somewhere. Like, I have this cool little, little thing that I've been collecting over the years right here. All right. And this right here. Oh, throttle actuator. I won't punch that thing. All right. All this is all BMW stuff. All right, a bunch of oil and shit, everything everywhere. But I have this oil here and all this is just literally BMW stuff. So, you know, these little clips right here, screw, screw caps, you know, more stuff. And so over the years, I've just been collecting and collecting um, grommets, O-rings. So it's pretty handy. So this is all my BMW hardware. Probably need a little bit more, but I'm gonna sand all this down because this is all. Oh, I probably don't need to sand it, but this part right here, the guy painted the car with these on it. I told him to fuck take it off, and the asshole just did whatever the fuck he wanted, you know. And this is actually supposed to be, you know, looks looks nice. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice color blue, right? But I wanted Bass Boat Flake. If you ever seen Bass Boat with the, with the like wild flake in it. That's what I wanted, <laughs> but he decided to do what the fuck he wanted. Still came out nice, but he did a really shitty job on the clear, and this is the result 15 years later. But you know, Arizona heat's got something to do with it too. I have to buy a new one of these because <sighs> here's my badge. Don't mind my garage; just looks like shit right now. And then you know, I took this one. This one. This one's good. This one's fucking broken, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it apart and fix this stupid wire. You know I just don't care to. It's probably a five dollar part on eBay. But you know that's what we're looking at right now, and you know if it does a good job, I might try to do it on the gray car too. You know gray car, just like I said, my daily driver, still looking all right. Did a little a little accident here, and. Uh, I don't feel like claiming on the insurance and making my insurance go up. It's not a big deal. I could just pay cash. Probably like 1500 bucks. Probably fix this fucking shit. I got to do it before it starts rusting because in New York, everything fucking rusts. So, but it's kind of, it just looks like shit. can't believe I did that. So, so mad. But, well, yeah, I mean, but that's what we got going on. So, you know, I'm going to be shoving updates on my Instagram, Instagram stories. I'm going to be posting uh, hopefully a slew of videos coming on my on my YouTube. So just stay tuned, you know, maybe follow the build. But uh, when I'm talking that this thing is getting done, the parts are ordered. They're coming in. The, the project is finally going to be done. And I'm hoping it's going to be back on the road at the shows, winning trophies within one month. I'm going to give it one month. Maybe a month and a half. So, uh, you know, enough where I can enjoy it through the summer. And it should be okay. Because, you know, next time I have to see a freaking Mazda Miata with the fucking back wheels looking like this. Well, fucking some stupid ass shit. Or the rims. The wheels. The rims are this big. And then the wheels are this thin. And the fucking rim is sticking out like this. Why it's all jacked up. That's fucking stupid. The stupidest shit I've ever fucking seen. And you know what? And I'm going to show these kids on how to fucking build a real car. So, but. Uh, I think this is locked. Yeah, over here I have to redo the whole, there's nothing in there. Uh, I ripped out the whole exterior because I was building a box back there. But I ended up moving to New York and didn't really have time. Here's all the, all the rear sound deadening shit right here, everything else. Um, also, I have a vacuum infusion kit. If you don't know what a vacuum infusion kit is, it's what we use to make carbon fiber or, you know, Kevlar, you know, to lay it. Um, and to compress the, uh, the carbon, you can make parts. So it's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, well, we will see, but I'm just going to hammer away on it and, uh, and get it done. 
so thanks guys for watching and thanks everybody who stuck around with me you know like i've seen my subscriber base just grow not exponentially but I, I really haven't lost that many subscribers so i you know i know people would get a little impatient and stuff but you know sometimes i just need time to myself and you know once you realize that this is just a hobby for me and i'm not required to post videos i'm not required to do anything you know i mean if you want to watch the videos you watch it if you don't want to watch it you don't watch it you know so but i spent a pretty much a grunt on my time in the past you know six months to a year really reading and focusing on spirituality focusing on my spiritual wellness and my enlightenment you know and a, to, to be a better human being to other human beings and to be a better person you know to to be a better version of myself and uh if you guys maybe want some more information about that i have no problem you know doing a couple of videos like that it really really gets in depth you know what i mean uh to the point where you might call me a little crazy but it's only because you haven't read what i read and you don't know what i know so but that's what i've been doing and you know i'll be honest with you it's uh it's been a journey but i think it's time to get back to working on the cars so i'm gonna prop this up right now take a look up under there and hopefully no spider and jump on my face and uh get this done all right guys until next time i will see you later and uh watch out for my videos thanks for watching as always